Really? <laughs> I think we're going for something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the price? 18. What's the bottom look like? Well, we are here at Bedford Street Antiques today. Mom and I just got done restocking the booth and now we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. Now this weekend is the Carlisle Glass Show and it is also Bedford Street Antiques 20th anniversary. So they're having kind of a little celebration. So I'm hoping the booths are gonna be freshly stocked and we're gonna find some goodies. So, are you ready, Mom? I'm ready. She's ready, let's go. Bedford Street Antiques. He was in here today restocking. Yeah. Looks good. It does, yeah. He keeps, he keeps it pretty well stocked. He doesn't like when it, uh, <laughs> it has empty spaces. He doesn't like empty spaces at all, anyways. Yeah. And this one is adorable. Goodness gracious. I'm usually not drawn to baby planters, but I love that. And that thing, what is that? Hedda, get better. Ooh, okay. Get better, Hedda. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. This booth is so fun and vintage. I absolutely love Paul's new cabinet here. I think it looks so nice. He usually has very primitive looking furniture, like this piece over here, but this one is very elegant. It's kind of a different look for him, and I'm digging it. Turtle. $28 on the breast turtle dish. What I really like is this. Can I look What's that? Oh, I know, I love it. There's always all kinds of It's a treasure hunt. That's the best part. <laughs> Although the last one I bought in an antique shop it um it leaked. So <laughs> this is the best booth in the whole the whole place. Look at it all. Someone really did a lot of designing on They that. did. They did a wonderful job. I'm going to peek around here. There is another piece of candlelit. $22. That's like the bigger version of the one we put in our booth just, just now. Wow, that's really pretty. 65 on that. Looks like it has some age too. There's some more Fostoria. Pottery lamp. That looks like Salmon Falls. Also looks like it was glued together. Hmm. Come here. Yeah, it is Salmon Falls for 19. What's that, Mom? Asparagus plate. <laughs> it is. You, everybody needs a special plate for their asparagus. Here is a Val St. Lambert candlestick. And it has a signature on it. Wait a second. I know that ringtone. Were you trying to sneak up on me? Maybe. I heard your phone go off and I was filming and I was like, wait a second, I know that ringtone. <laughs> Maybe. No, did you I, see mom? No, I didn't. Oh, she's down the way. No, I just dropped the last of the packages off at the post office, and I figured I had a few minutes to kill before I had to be back by 5. So. Yes, I made reservations for um, 6 o'clock. Okay. Unless you're going to mow the lawn. Uh, I might get the grass cut, honestly. <laughs> I know you like mowing well, the lawn. It, well, that one side's getting high, and, I know, and if I we know. get any more rain, and I'm going to be in Jersey all weekend. I know, I know. So. What do you think of this? Six dollars. 
Priorities, Joss. Priorities. Val St. Lambert. Work. Then. Signed. Oh, that's nice. I like the texture. It's a nice candlestick. I think I want to grab it. We're just getting ready to head upstairs. Okay. I have one thing so far. Yeah, it's 65 though. I love her. 285 on that. What is that? Millefiore in the. Yeah. See, I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. She's gorgeous. Oh, this isn't a little. Oh, it's a little hermit crab. It's an art class hermit crab. Really? <laughs> I thought we were going for something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the price? 18. What's the bottom look like? It's pretty. I like it. It's so funny. Do you like it for 18? Well, obviously, we both reached for it at the same time. I know, without knowing the price, though, I don't. I don't know if I can do it too. Wow, that's cool. What is that? Nine. I think I looked at that the last time, actually. Yeah, this is a reproduction. Uh, Owens Illinois Glass Company. It's they, these were called historical flasks. They had different patriotic themes. Uh, important people of history on them. That one's much later. Oh my goodness, I love it. I was kind of hoping that it was a mug, but it is a picture. <laughs> it's a little poor spout. I know. What is that ticking? I can't handle it. It's ticking. <laughs> I have to walk away. Ticking at me. Do you have a shelf started downstairs already, or is that the first thing you've grabbed? Um, I have a piece of Fostoria heirloom, and I think that's all I have. Well, I'm probably gonna be out of here before you, so I'll yeah, just kind of hold on to it. Okay. And then when I go out, I'll drop it off. Thank you. Maybe just set it off. Oh, well, now I get two things. <laughs> so this is crazy. <laughs> um, a week ago, Tommy from the Vintage Kitchen posted something about Duchess Pyrex. Never heard of it before, but I'm like, what is Duchess Pyrex? I don't know what this is. So I looked it up because I was curious and I found out that the Duchess Pyrex sells for thousands of dollars. But Libby actually made a compliment to the Duchess Pyrex in the form of creamers and sugars. And this is the compliment to the Duchess Pyrex. This is the pattern um, that was on the Pyrex. This is the Duchess pattern. <laughs> I just got, I'm like, wait a second. That looks familiar. I literally looked that up last week. Heck yeah. I mean, it's not worth thousands of dollars, but... That's awesome. I'd never heard of it before. Thank you, Tommy. Alrighty. Um, Andrew is heading out. Uh, he's got to get back to the house by five. But I just spotted this. Six bucks. Ripple vase. Um, I have one of these listed on eBay right now. It's a little bit taller, but I feel like six is a good price on that. I have to check because a lot of the times I find uh, chips on the bottom of these. Like everybody's got their glass out. Getting ready for the glass show. <laughs> That's a really pretty pumpkin. I don't need any more art class pumpkins though. I have enough. I have enough. I don't need any more. <laughs> Looks like there's some Pyrex. It's not the Duchess pattern though. This is the Christmas Wonderland. A little bit of other holidays sprinkled in. Oh my goodness, he's adorable. Oh, she's a bell made in Japan. I thought she was like the top to a pin cushion. 
That looks like maybe Staffordshire. Early figure girl with dog. Hmm. I don't know about that disc, disc figurine. I always think these things are creepy. He doesn't have a price on them. Some salt. It looks like there's a lot of little salt cellars sprinkled about. That doesn't want to stay closed. I don't think I'm going to be able to force it. Star tinsel ornament. Here is a whole pretzel jar full of sellers. Sellers suit. Here is a really pretty set of Australia candlesticks. The last time I looked at them, I thought it was just a single, but now I realize it's actually for the pair. I wasn't willing to pay it for a single, but I'd be willing to pick up the pair for sure. I'm gonna grab those. And we're gonna keep on moving. We caught back up with mom, and the first thing she says is, I like the white room. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you like the yes, white room. I like the white room. It doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> Alright, well, I, what? This is Paul's, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Almost the entire second floor is false. Yeah. Are you ready? Or? Actually, I was heading downstairs. Oh, okay. I did the whole second floor. Okay. This is a cute planter. Alrighty. Unless you're ready to go. I'm no, no, I still have more to do downstairs. I kind of like that there. Alright, well, let's see what we can find in this booth. <laughs> From a distance, I thought that was going to be glass. I'm like, oh. Well, if you're a sign that maybe I should be wearing my glasses. What do we have in here? I kind of like that. Stuart, matchy, matchy. Oh, it opens. Open sesame. Lee. That's pretty, isn't it? Hmm. Looks like nine and twelve together. I need to pick those up. I'm gonna sit them right here for now. Right, I also want to see this green art glass ashtray. Hmm. Kind of an interesting form. That one's ugly. Has a chip on it though. take you down here because I noticed oh my gosh it's locked <laughs> I want that one that one's Murano oh and that one is a pool uh, no one has a satin finish he's cute that looks like it's a nice piece of glass all right this one looks like Murano yeah $30 on that that's really pretty I think that might be a Jordan Imports company form. I'm pretty certain. So I think, oh, you know what? I'm taking it out of the case. So I have to give it to him when he comes back to bring up front. Um, what else do we see in here? Oh yeah, this. I'm gonna get a closer look at this. I think these are supposed to come with little, uh, little cups. I know, you were so quick. I blinked and boom, there you are. <laughs> Oh, and this little ducky. Let's take a look at the duck. Or a goose. I don't know if it's a duck or a goose. He's just so sweet. Oh, he's pilgrim. That makes sense. 25 on that, though, so I think I'll pass. Alright. I like the design on that. Nisa? I'm not familiar with that. N-E-S-A. Now we have a blue bird of happiness. 
eighteen dollars. Ron Ray. I don't know if these are still popular. If they've fallen out of favor. It's been a while since I've sold a bluebird of happiness. I just don't know if I could pay eighteen for it. I also like the texture on that. And that's a faux scrimshaw. There's another bird. This one's got a broken tail, though. That's a shame. Glass paperweights. All right. I'm getting a taste of my own medicine because there was a couple in front of us um, who had like two shelves worth of glass. And so they're currently checking out and it's probably gonna take a hot minute. So I decided to come in. I'm sitting on the steps. <laughs> and guess what mom's doing? She's rearranging, rearranging the booth. She's like, I'm going to take advantage of this time. And I'm going to rearrange the booth. You can hear the paper crinkling. <laughs> when it gets done, it means they're done, right? Yeah. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Just listen for the paper crinkling. Crinkle, crinkle. Crinkle, crinkle. Let's just admire your, uh, your craftsmanship here. <sighs> Did such a nice job. Looks good. Good job, Mom. All right, well, it looks like I gypped you guys again <laughs> on the footage. Um, so we are here at the shop, just like yesterday, and we are going to be digging through another one of the flea market boxes that Andrew picked up from Linda at the Carroll County Flea Market, which I believe is the second Saturday of every month um, at the Carroll County Ag Center. Don't quote me on that though. Go find their website and look at their calendar of events. Um, but we're gonna go through, uh, I think this is the last box. I think there might be a third box, but there's maybe one or two items in there. So uh, we're gonna go through this box and see what he picked up from Linda. So here we go. Here it is, all wrapped up, nice and neat. So for those of you who are sensitive to the paper crinkling, prepare yourself because we will, we will be crinkling paper. Lots of it. There we go. Oh, head faces. <laughs> We're gonna have to be getting rid of some of these head faces. We've got quite a few of them hanging around. Looks like um, she's missing some earrings, but she's awfully lovely. 20 bucks on her. She would look nice with a succulent in her head. These are all empties. Hold this empty up. And we'll put our paper right into the empty box. Oh, I was really excited. I remember when he sent me pictures. I'm like, is that a person riding a dog? I was really excited about these. <laughs> More excited than I probably should have been. I just thought they were really cool. It is a person riding a dog. I had only seen pictures, and now I am seeing it in person. Oh, there's something else in there. I have to be careful before I throw it into the box. Dog licking a plate. I think this is made to look like the um, is it Royal Dalton that makes a terrier licking a plate? I think it is. This is Japanese. Oh, she's lovely. Acme China, made in Japan. Three dollars. Oh, she's so sweet. I kind of love her. I think she's my favorite. I like her more than the person holding the dog. <laughs> There's another figurine. This one is Bone China with lace. White opalescent bowl. Oh, $15. Ruffled edge. Ooh, that's neat looking. I don't think I've seen that form before. What is that? Ocean Shell Footed Bowl, 1904. Linda's usually pretty good at identifying these pieces. I've never seen that before. Wow. I would have guessed that's like a beehive or something. <laughs> that's really neat. I like that form. Little owl. Another owl. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. <laughs> what is he even doing made in Taiwan? I don't know. Is he mad or is he happy? We may never know. He has a friend. Oh. <laughs> this one has a bug on his face. All right. We win the prize for the weirdos today. That's beautiful. The contrast between the pink and the blue. Very lovely. Small rough spot on rim. Yeah, I think I felt that. Yep, there we go. So there's a little rough spot, but I love the contrast of the colors on that. It's a cute little basket, Fenton. And yes, I am holding it by the handle. Forgive me, I'm one-handed. There's the owl friend. Oh, that's a different owl. I give a hoot for you. Thirteen dollars. One's in a pawn. Pretty floral vase. Another pretty pink basket. Fenton. There we go. There's your buddy. Catalina pottery made in USA. Ainsley Bone China. Shells on the outside of that one. This is beautiful. Yellow roses. Oh, happy anniversary. 1915 to 1965. All right, and the last and final piece. What's it going to be? I think it's a figurine. Ooh, what do we have? Oh, look. We've got the whole crew. Ta-da! Alright, that's it. That's it for this box. All done. So I know I have another Linda box um, creeping around here somewhere, but I've got to find it. And then we'll see what else we've got, but it's pretty good. I'm pleased with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed going through that box with me. We all have some booties here that I have to decide how to disperse and where to sell them, but uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> if you guys tune into my videos, I usually do a video on what I'm selling on eBay, what I'm selling on whatnot, and um, if you keep up with the videos, you'll know where I'm going to be selling it. So anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.